Today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to extract information uh, from a cell that has, like say, a mixture of numbers and letters or a certain pattern, and you just want to extract maybe the numbers out of that, that statement, whether it's got dashes or special other delimiters or it has no delimiters. Uh, so first thing what we see is we have uh, this text here is, you know, hashtag AA123BB, and they're separated by dashes. This one's a pretty straightforward um, extraction because of the dashes. You can definitely see the numbers that you want to get out. The quickest way to get this is to use the split function. So here it is, equals splits. And for the split function, you take out, um, I, I use all four parameters. So basically the text is this right here. The delimiter that we're looking for is the dash, but the dash needs to be encased in quotation marks because it's considered, it's considered a string. And then we want to split by each. Yes, we do. We put that as true. And also remove empty text. We also put that as true. Now, what split will do is the split will, will basically put it in, in as many different columns as there are separations. So in this case, we have three separations so this will be separated into three different columns and this is easy because if you have this specific pattern and you know that the numbers in column two you can basically name the column two as say you know, and then use that for whatever you need so that's one way to get rid of or to extract the numbers out of a particular string now say we have something like this where we have no delimiters and we have, you know, maybe three, four, five, six uh, text characters, a number character, and then you know other text characters. So it's it's kind of pretty well enmeshed there. So what do you what you can do is you can use something called a regular expression. Believe me, if you know how to work regular expressions in Google Sheets, you will be one of the you'll basically be like a warrior in Google Sheets. Now, there are three different functions in Google Sheets, um, regular expression functions in Google Sheets. I'm only going to go through one for this particular example. For this example, okay, we're going to go through I'm going to go with reg x, okay, the first reg x max, extract or replace. For this one, we're going to use replace. And you'll see why in a minute. So this takes three arguments. The first one is what you're looking at, the initial argument you're looking to extract something from. And here's a trick. With regex replace, in this particular function, I'm going to choose to replace the letters with blank spaces. Okay, so how we do that is basically we have to encase it in, um, the syntax is very particular. So in this case, we're going to encase it in square brackets. First, we're going to make sure that we get all the letters. So we have to put in A through Z, lowercase, then uppercase A through Z, capital. Okay? And this all has to be encased in quotation marks because it is a string that you're looking for. So we're gonna re what are we going to re replace it with? We're going to replace it with blanks. And once we're done, we close off that argument, and there we have it. We've taken out the letters and left the numbers. As you can see, this is pretty dynamic because even if you have whatever the number is here, for example, there you go. Well, actually, we've got, we made a little mistake, but see, it actually picks up everything because it's a very good mistake that I made there because what this shows is it is very specific. If you wanted to take out, say, that slash, you would need to specify the slash. Um, if you wanted to take out numbers, you need to specify in square brackets, for example, right here, 0 through 9, no problem. So it is very specific, and that's why it is incredibly powerful. Um, and if you have a pretty good handle of that in, in Google Sheets, there's no end to what you can do.